welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagtiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian Guitar Gear scene. And in today's episode, we're looking at the Harley Benton Fusion 2 in Ocean Turquoise. Joined by Shantanu. He's going to do some serious riffage on this guitar. I'm looking forward to that. But before that, make sure you press that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. The Harley Benton Fusion 2 in Ocean Turquoise is an incredible guitar. Um, normally the Harley Bentons are made in China. This one's made in Indonesia, probably uh, at the Cord Factory or at the Samic Factory. Value for money, brilliant components. Um, it's only 300 euros, okay. Um, of course, if you ship it to India, you have to pay the customs duty and you don't pay the VAT. But it still works out to be, uh, you know, around about the 30,000, 33,000 rupee mark um, after all the expenses. But is it worth it? Is it worth the hype? First, let's look at all the specs of the guitar. <laughs> Okay, Shantanu, uh, let me pass on this guitar to you. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Tell me more about the features. We've seen the description, we know a little bit about it, but uh, you know, you've had similar guitars to this in the past, so maybe you can share your insights on what the components are of this. So, this guitar features a uh, Sapele body, hmm. and uh, isn't that like double the weight of mahogany or double the yeah, strength of mahogany? Yeah. It does, it does feel that way. It's, it does, it's, right? it's, it's, it's a bit on the heavy side. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm not sure if it's the maple neck or if it's the body, but there's definitely some weight to this. Uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, heavier than a usual strap. Hmm. Um, the top, I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's a veneer. I mean, then you're not going to get a, a hard maple cap, you know, in, sure. in that range. I, they, do, they do see on the website that it's a, uh, there is a binding over here. So, I'm sure that's what they mean. It's a nice, beautiful binding. Yeah. Let's say. And um, the fretboard is ebony, ebony which, yeah. which is quite surprising. Stainless steel frets, man. And the stainless steel frets. Yeah, I mean, that alone, if you go to a luthier and like, you know, ask him to put stainless steel frets on your guitar, you're looking at about 200 to 300 dollars. Yeah. Right? You know, for that. So, yeah, great. And staggered tuners? Locking? And staggered tuners. Um, also, a really nice nut. Yeah, a new bone from yeah. Graftec. Yeah. Even the string tree is a roller. Um, so that's nice. That's a good touch. Wilkinson trim. Anything, Wilkinson trim. Anything to add yeah. on that? Wilkinson trims are very stable uh, strat mm. style tremolos. So this is the twin pivot uh, knife edge style strat okay. tremolo. Uh, and, and they stay in tune, you know, fairly well. Oh, that's good. And you got, uh, now this is the thing that I think maybe will let the guitar down a bit. Uh, the Roswell pickups. Um, they are Alnico 5. Um, you do have the option of uh, coil splitting them and uh, there's a three way over here. Um, let's see how it, how it you know, fares up on a clean setting and on a, a you know, high gain setting as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to run the guitar. He's going to do some of his riffage into uh, a clean uh, setting on the katana, um, no added effects. Then we'll go straight into the brown setting, full gain. Um, and he's going to really let it rip. So let's get to it. Thank you. 
Wow, man. That was cool. Nice yeah, playing. Yeah, it's a nice sounding guitar. Nice playing. Nice Thanks. playing, man. Nice. Thanks, man. But you're not the only one who can do sweet picking, boy. Even I can do it. All you need is a broom and a pick. But seriously, let's look at the guitar and the playability factor. Um, 300 euros, okay. Um, a lot of these components are about 100 uh, euros each, you know. So it's an action packed guitar. But there are some downsides to it, you know. Um, did you find that it was uh, like fighting you the guitar a little bit in terms of the tension, the string tension? Yes, I did. Um, you know, uh, the, the, the strings are a little, uh, you know, on the higher side when it comes to tension. But see, they say it's tens, but I don't know. I mean, there's something about the setup that I, I would like to put nines on it one, at one point in time. And nines see would probably work better. Would work better not yeah. than these. Yeah, and the other thing is the pickups. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know the, the 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 guitar is nice. The pickups could uh, use a little you know improvement. Obviously, uh, as a mod platform guitar, okay, not even a mod platform guitar because most of the components are pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, just replacing the strings and replacing the, the pickups. The pickups would I think do. Uh, you, you'd have a killer guitar. Yeah, 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 for I sure. I mean, they say it's like the Sir, uh, you know, replica. Um, low range sir replica. It looks fantastic. It just looks brilliant. It also feels nice. You know, the neck feels. Yeah, it's hard maple. Really you know, it's nice. I, it, you know, just as a disclaimer, I actually ordered um, the newer baked maple uh, version of this in silver. But unfortunately, that was not available. Uh, it had sold out and was going to come only at the end of the month. So I thought that we do need a Harley Benton to review. So I thought that let's get this. And I'm not disappointed at all. I mean, it, it looks fantastic. It plays great. Um, and it has quality craftsmanship uh, too. Very nice craftsmanship to it. It's made in Indonesia. It's not made in China, right? So that also adds a factor to it, you know, sure. because the Indonesian guitars are, you know, slightly better in terms of their finish, sure. in terms of their quality. Um, I love the, the staggered tuners, locking tuners, the graph tech newborn nut is just like, you know, the icing on the cake. Um, all and in Wilkinson all, Bridge. Wilkinson Bridge. And it's not, a, it's not like a, a licensed bridge, it's, it's an original bridge, you know. So it does cost money, you know. So it's not as if they're cutting corners on their components. Mm. So kudos to them. I mean, um, for, you know, um, people looking for sub $500 guitars, you know, the 300 uh, euro mark. It's, it's bang for your buck. It's really, really good, you know. And um, I would recommend this uh, particular, you know, range from Harley Benton. I think they're fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Harley Benton comes up with in the future. Um, this range of guitars is fantastic for its price range. Of course, it's uh, doing well already. And I think uh, a newer, you know, innovative line from them, um, you know, something in the future might uh, even do better than that. Um, kudos to them man for just shaking up the market you know especially in Europe and hope something like this comes to India very very soon. So hope you enjoyed that episode. <laughs> uh, just smash that like button and press the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Shantanu, you on social media? Yep. Sign up for his social media links. My social media links, SSJ Production social media links in the description below. And become a patron today. Help us make these videos. YouTube isn't paying much at all. You know, we need your patronage. Become a patron by going to my Patreon link. It's in the card above. Go there and sign up and support us. And above all else, stay happy. <laughs>